it's working. Audio. Hello. Is it working? I still hear music. Yeah. Oh. It's working. Hello. Uh, Wait, why are you so? <laughs> oh hey my, guys. Oh my Jake. goodness. Okay. We're actually hiring for the podcast, believe it or not. <laughs> this seat is open. We have the guys. I bought merch. He's still not welcome on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, guys. We were supposed to start at eight. Okay. What did, what happened? Well, okay. Just who nothing happened. What we happened? can't tell you what happened. You'll see what oh, happened. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh. Brendan broke his microphone. That's what happened. Look at oh him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so what was going to happen is we were going to talk about something. And then the monitor... Jake, of course, spoiled it like normal. <laughs> oh, and then we shit. couldn't talk about it like three, four days ago. Wait. When did we have our meeting? Your hair is out of control, but you know what? You oh, should yeah. probably keep it that long. No, I'm going to look too much like Stefano. He's growing his hair Yeah, Yo, your curls because Italian. <laughs> oh, he's Italian too. Um, anyways, that's You're so off pocket. monitor. Um, oh yeah, you are. You're shaking the camera. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? The girls are fighting. Um, okay. So there's a reason we're delayed. And I'm telling you, okay, Craig can vouch for this because Craig has been on the team since UConn. Would you say that what just happened over the last hour is probably some of the most dramatic information slash finding out of something we've ever, ever gone through? Ever. Yeah. Complete change in direction. Like to not to not to release too much. Yeah, like obviously we can't say, but something happened where we had to literally sit there and research, then kind of go over some facts, then kind of like collect ourselves, and then also kind of feel like a little guilty for the last like three months. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna give Brendan a lot of poop <laughs> in this episode. But okay, in our defense with what the surveys were showing this and by the way this isn't us confirming that this isn't going to happen we're going to talk about it at some point don't worry yeah everything we know that we just learned in the last hour we are going to talk about in this podcast don't worry you guys are going to find out before tomorrow's construction update um but holy crap <laughs> i had a fever i had a fever i was um, i was getting a huge energy spike right had a fever. and warm to the touch um he was like a red tomato yeah you're uh, like a red tomato I, in the summer but <laughs> um but you see the red i see no difference <laughs> <laughs> the camera feels way closer than normal did you guys do something no did you do maybe you're sitting closer i think we just never had a full face camera oh true 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 yeah okay so jake how was your week <laughs> okay last night i was really stressing about this question i didn't know what to say <laughs> what question i was i was sleeping in bed right and i was trying to fall asleep and then Where else you all sleep? on the floor i don't know anyway i was in bed and then um i, I know every single week brendan's like asked me this question what would you do this week and I, it's the same thing every week nothing <laughs> <laughs> and i was so stressed about it so next week i'm going skiing to mount st louis uh, with my brother, which I haven't seen in a while, so I'm excited to do that. Yeah, I'm his brother. I'm going skiing. Jake you know? also learned something this week, didn't oh! he, Jake? Oh, you are not doing this. You learned something, didn't you? Do you? Would you like to tell the crowd what you learned? Would you like to tell the audience what you learned? No. <laughs> Don't think <laughs> I don't think agree. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> um, How was your week, guys? I heard you, know you had what? a big event on Tuesday. My week? Oh, yeah, that was this week. Oh. We haven't even been live yet since that happened. Can we even talk about that? I didn't even ask. What? Oh. No, we can't talk about like that. Like, nothing? Like, that it even happened? Any of it? I have no idea. The anyway. Patreons know. The Patreons know. Anyway. I don't know if I anyway, feel okay, comfortable. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. We won't, we won't, we won't. It's fine. But I forgot. We haven't anything since that happened. Uh, um, yeah, we ha well, I think I did talk about it. We had a meeting know. with Wonderland. We had a meeting with there, Wonderland. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. That's why I shaved. So I looked a little bit more presentable. That's <laughs> why I shaved. I'm serious. So I looked presentable. So you'll shave for Wonderland, but you won't shave when I ask you to shave for a uh, video. Because you're not important. Wonderland is important. What don't you understand? He doesn't want to getting banned from Wonderland. Anyway, Jake was learning a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my week sucked. I had an ear infection all week, and I had to put drops in it and lie dormant like an idiot for 30 minutes three times a day. And they still didn't fix it. They made it worse. <laughs> Feels like there's water in there now. My week? I didn't ask, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you asked us, and we didn't ask you. Oh, okay, fine. Well, so how, on. how was your week, Brendan? <laughs> um, well, I learned a lot about my car today. I, I learned that you have to change your engine filter, right? 
the air filter for the engine. The yes. air filter for the engine. Craig just showed me how to do that. And Which mine is was... different than the cabin air filter. Yeah. Um, so that was interesting. Mine was really clogged up. Um, and next week, Craig will teach me how to do an oil change. As long as you figure out where we're disposing of this oil. Uh, we'll just dump it on Wonderland's property. That's fine. I'm kidding. That's fine. Oh, my God. What a way to ruin. Um, with that being said, without further ado. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> This might be our juiciest podcast we've ever made, truthfully, because we're about to talk about something that might be completely useless <laughs> in about 30 seconds, and then we're going to get to the good stuff. But I want to say that this project is really confusing for several reasons. So before we get into it, one, we have the survey. So for those of you that remember the survey that Wonderland sent out, it had a rendering on it. It had wing coaster trains or invert coaster trains or flying coaster trains and it came out of the mountain and headed back over and then headed back over to vortex and then it came back out right we're echoing apparently we're echoing. Echo. how did it change what itself? changed it was perfect all did... last hello is it orange on the top of your mic no also somebody said green day in the in in it's patreon echoing. chat Here, i don't know why but i agree chat. yeah testing testing Yeah, okay, just turn off. Do it the other way then. Hello. Just mute your mic and give this to Brendan. Okay, just turn off. Do it the other way then. Okay. What the hell changed? Yeah. That's I don't so know. Weird. I, yeah. Because it was working earlier. That is so mute weird. It. You know what it might have been though? I was playing with the mic again. Okay. It's off. All now. right. Okay. Is Craig this good? doesn't get a mic anymore. That's better. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did it stop? Oh, everyone's saying it stopped. Yeah. After I, I was doing. I was. Doing this with the mic and the in the so it's these mics. Okay, is this working? Well, you didn't unmute. Well, you it. didn't unmute the mic. Oh. <laughs> is this working now? now Welcome now back. It might. Is this working now? Hello, everyone. Welcome keep the, back. Keep your mic away from me, Craig. That's okay. I want to say. Yeah. Okay. okay. A a a M M says yes. No. Yes. It's not better. Is it better? It looks fine. That's echoing. Okay. Wait. What? Yes, it's working. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, my. we're good. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> if it gets bad, just influx the chat okay. again. Okay, can my mods tell me if I echo? I try. I trust Dan. Okay. Anyways, what was I saying now? Because uh, oh, you're, the new the next thing, and then you're gonna say it's completely useless. Okay. So, um, no, I was explaining. So it needs a storyline. That's how epic this podcast is gonna be. It needs a whole storyline. So Wonderland posts a survey, right? And it has its wing invert flying coaster trains in the survey. It says board your winged train and launch through a sub jungle terrain type thing. Um, and it showed its location. So when Wonderland started doing construction and construction markings started popping up out of the only tunnel into the mountain, that would leave, um, it's back now. Okay, so hello, we're gonna do this. Brendan, your mic sucks. I know. Well, it's got to be something with my computer. It might have been something with the cables, but it doesn't, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Anyways, so, so um, one would think that that's going to be the launch tunnel, correct? Um, I know everyone thought it. I thought it. And it's still a possibility. It's still a possibility. We're not ruling it out completely because there's been a lot of jumping to conclusions around that. But we... We, we came across, we came across, what's the best way to word this? We came across something tonight, and it would suggest. It just makes sense. It, it makes. It just makes sense. Just and I'm going to explain it in, in great detail on today's podcast. So when we get to the slide, we'll explain it. But we no longer think that Extreme Skyflyer was removed for the 2025 coaster. And we no longer think that the 2025 coaster is going to head um, into the mountain that way, nor use international show place, nor go behind the scenes, behind Pizza Pizza and all that. This might have a bigger footprint than we may have thought. Um, and it may, it, 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 you'll see when we get there. Do you have anything else to say? Before? Everybody's complaining about your mic. You're probably holding it too close to your face. Uh, wait, am I echo? Wait, what's... It's clipping. You're, you're probably just yeah, holding you're it too Oh, close. okay, okay. So I need to talk like this. And you or could just move the microphone okay. further back. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm excited, though. These micro... So you gotta eat the mic? <laughs> <laughs> People usually stress eat, not happy eat. That's Your mic's fine. Okay. Um, 
I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So, any do you guys have anything to say before we move on? <laughs> okay, go to the no, first No, don't let Jake say anything before we... Say it now, like, you can hear you. So here's a tunnel. It's a great tunnel. They're currently installing piles and cement. So today, is this even a photo of? the tunnel, look, there's a cement truck right there. It's because it's so far away. Look how blurry. When I ultra zoom in and clip the photo, especially this far, well, you can hardly tell. You can barely make out the cement truck. Oh, that that's a cement truck. Oh that's a cement truck, yeah. Eat the mic. Ah. Um, so... Before we found out a bit of information, we were measuring things because we learned that the, tunnel, the tunnel wasn't expanding. We originally thought the tunnel was going to move over about one meter on e either side due to the little circles. But the circles and then the cement actually accounted for no movement of space with this tunnel. So this ruled out an invert and a wing coaster because it was too small. That was part of our, our conclusion. And then furthermore, we measured um, Thunderbird's total width here, and it was too large to fit into these tunnels. So that was a part of our information that we were going to present to you guys today to further rule out um, the wing coaster, because we had ruled out the invert and the flyer. Um, the wing coaster can no longer be ruled out fully. Uh, it doesn't mean we think that's what's going to happen, because I can tell you right now, um, I am fully almost on board with something and I want to explain something to you guys and I this what I'm about to say to you is a reach so please understand and take this with a huge grain of salt but I just don't understand why a ride manufacturer would follow me I'm not going to say who but if you guys investigate somewhere on one of my social media platforms a ride manufacturer has followed me um, and they only follow 37 accounts so no uh, other enthusiast accounts, by the way. No, they do. They follow. Oh, is it other? Yeah, 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 yeah. No other enthusiast accounts. No, they, it's like a California park and a Florida park and yeah, Cedar Point. So, um, do your search. Do your search. I just don't want to call it out because then they'll unfollow. You know what I mean? Like, so you guys can do your own, and then you can look for it and thing. But, um, I just wanted to say them, block them. Um. So with that being said. Do you guys have anything to say about this whole theory that we were going to talk about before? In, in We did do some measurements that we can't verify, right, of the new tunnel. That we can or can't? Can't, because can, that's a guesstimation. That yeah, yeah, it's not it's, Well, nothing that we say Yeah, because we can't use accurate. Google Earth either on yeah. that end of the, the mountain. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to measure using the machine. Yeah. So we were using excavators and measurements online of that equipment. Okay, so that's the, okay, we are talking about that. Yeah, yeah, you were a part of this, so you talk about it. You go. This we're was talking, your thing. We're talking about the other, we're talking about the yeah. second tunnel that we found, right? I'm not exposing anything wrong. No. They know about the second tunnel. Okay. It's so, but thank you for asking. <laughs> asking live. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help, it no matter. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have changed anything, but still. <laughs> so... I don't know. We found a so, hole. So, yeah. We, we found the machine. And we found the machine that was sitting in the hole. Basically, it was, like, in the hole and in our photo. We found the machine's model oh, number. Oh, don't we have a photo of it? It's coming. Okay. We found Calm the down. machine's model number. We looked it up. We got the width of that machine and then guesstimated about how many machines. I think, what was it, two and three quarter machines would fit in there? Yeah, two and a half. And oh, they can being, barely hear you. Talk to it me. ended up being 6.1 meters. 6.2 something. Well, I don't know. Yeah, and a wing coaster train is seven it's meters. Seven meters. Yeah. So at Our the wing minimum, clearance is seven meters. At yeah. the minimum. So, so a wing coaster would still be really tight in here, but they can make it work. Um, but I have another theory. If we see another hole cut out in this mountain, then have three holes. Then and it then might we have a big problem. It's yeah, be Swiss cheese more than it's gonna be a mountain. Um, but. time you switch the page oh continue um <laughs> <laughs> um i forget what my images are so can i just see this for a second oh okay so we'll Isn't talk while he's talking wanted? yes this is what we wanted so zamperla is something that i want to get in your guys's heads for a couple of reasons so i want to explain a theory that has no backing behind it um that i can't tell you for sure is true but I've heard in the rumor mill 
And the only reason I don't believe it fully, and I haven't said it in a video, and I'm saying it on the podcast, and I'm telling you to take this with the biggest grain of salt and not to believe it, is that Cedar Fair purchased three Zamperla models of the Lightning Train and everything and have actually bought um, exclusive rights to this coaster for a two to three year period, something like that. Um, so they bought three models all at once. And the reason I find this interesting is because Wonderland was 100% exploring a different model of coaster for the mountain originally, as you saw in their survey. I do not believe it was a red herring um because i feel like when they're doing these surveys it is to get the guest like feedback mm -hmm. but i do believe because if you remember we saw survey markings popping up around the mountain and then we saw newer survey markings taking place again around uh, the beginning of haunt yeah and the first markings were uh july the 10th for anybody who's worrying there's a construction update that day i don't think anybody's worried yeah so um I find it interesting uh, because there was somewhat of a change. And without revealing anything in particular, Craig and I had heard that there might have been a change of plans or a change in budget, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's all I can say. And that aligns with this as well. So it's it's really interesting. So you We heard it from Jake. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we did not. First of all, ride people don't know anything. Um, but with that being said, um, Zamperla tested Top Thrill 2 really early. Um, we're talking December, January. December. December. They uploaded it in December. And I don't know if many of you know, you can go there. Antonio Zamperla did an interview, um, in another country and you have to translate it. Um, thank you to JD and Discord for doing this. Um, he's actually ridden the ride already in January, in the cold. Without a PLC. Yeah. Without a PLC and everything. <laughs> Um, so there was a hundred percent, in my opinion, um, kind of like, what, what's the right word to use where it's like all eyes are on that project. And I think that's a reason as well. But I think the main reason all eyes are on Zamperla right now and why Cedar Fair would want to work with this company over, let's say even B&M is the train design. That's why I have it on the screen for you right now. Yeah. The train design. Actually, do you want to describe it? You'd be better at this. You're more of a thuzy. Yeah. So, um, the trains... They get every single season, every single ride, uh, sorry, trains at least. They all get taken apart and rebuilt every single season. That's It's a lot of work, uh, depending, uh, especially for trains that have a lot of bolts. These trains, the lightning trains, are milled. If So if you guys don't know what that means, that means it's a s one big solid block and it's just like drilled out with like a drill. And no, there's no welds, there's no bolts. It's just one big piece of honk of metal. That it's a hunk of metal. That's what that's what I'm, that's how I'm gonna I describe it. I see a it. bunch of bolts in this video. Yeah, right but that's now. a wheel carrier, not the frame, the chassis. <laughs> the cha that's what I'm saying is. I'm just messing. Up. There's less less things that they have to take apart and put together and inspect every single morning, which is cheaper on maintenance costs. Um, then they can go to other rides a lot quicker, that sort of thing. Um, and then same with the seats for this ride. So th the seats have five or six foam panels instead of being one big foam panel. Um, so if uh, there's a problem to a foam panel, they can just take off that one of the five instead of having to replace the whole seat. And it's much or easier to order it that way as well um, from Zamperilla, which makes it cheaper for them because instead of having to order a whole seat, they only order this one panel, for example. It's interesting because uh, I'm more time. I'm more time? Am I saying that right? <laughs> they bring up a good point that when they were testing Top Thrill 2, more survey markings were popping up. Now, if you're doing your research... Then, Here's the milling process, by the way, on the screen, as yeah. you can see. So it's interesting. So I just want that for food for thought. Um, what are your thoughts on Zamperla? I have known nothing about this company, even a little bit. That was so insightful. They made Time Warp. Well, they don't have my vote. Though. Okay, <laughs> no. Can you, can you explain now? <laughs> That's not fair. Okay. Can you explain to Craig and now the evolution okay, of Zamperla? So they made Time Warp. Obviously, not a lot of people like it. <laughs> it's an understatement. <laughs> um, but now they have, I'm not going to use the word stolen, but they have taken a couple of people from Intamin, which is also in Italy. Not taken, but like people from who used to work at Intamin now work at Zamperla, so in addition with a whole bunch of coaster enthusiast type people who now work, who are also engineers, uh, who now work at Zamperla and also in Italy. Um and they've oh, tried to refresh their company, and I do believe the Top Thrill 2 kind of thing, the Top Thrill 2 thing is 
like their show off. Here, look at this. Now go buy a product from us. Zentro is making pop door poop. Yeah. Yeah. So like the same people who the made trains yeah, are from them. The people who made Peanuts Five Hundred at Wonderland also yeah. made yeah. this. <laughs> they made peanuts. The mall day. rides. The, yeah, the <laughs> mall rides. Like if you go to Vaughn Mills, all those rides are made by Zamperla, and now they're making Top Thrill too. Yeah. Um. Guys, we're about to throw you upside down, like literally upside down. So I do want to apologize. Any footage we have of this area moving forward is going to be blurry and it's going to be really hard to make out anything. We're not going to be able to make out stakes. We're not going to be able to make out details. You have details. no idea how far we have to fly <laughs> to get this angle. I had Craig go to a baseball diamond God. that we didn't even know existed. And this is stretching and everything and it's really bad quality. I apologize. That's um, about as good as it's going to get. This is as good as we're going to be able to cover this tunnel. So, um, unless you don't want to see the tunnel, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Unless you don't want to see the tunnel, then yeah. So, uh, I, okay, uh, you go, you go. We need to correct Jake here, first of all. Oh. Intamin is not in Italy, it is. Oh, okay, I believed you. It's okay. <laughs> You're good. Don't worry. You are a more reputable source. Um, this, by the way, this is the machine we measured, yes, to get the sizes. No, no, we measured the big yellow one. That's hidden behind the tree there. Oh, we did. So. Intim sorry, can I can I just finish one thing? Intamin has a headquarters in Italy. Not that it is named in Italy. It has a headquarter in Italy. It might be Swiss. It might be German. It might oh, be yeah, whatever this is. Like but it has a headquarters in Italy. <laughs> you're, the in, you're getting you're getting drawn out. <laughs> <laughs> Roast him, everyone. Roast him. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, so yeah, I know Velocicoaster. Can I? Uh, I didn't get to explain this. Velocicoaster was in the intro because Zamperla doesn't have any like rides. rides open currently that I can use to resemble what I think we would be getting. Um, so yeah. With that being said, what you guys are most likely looking at is the launch tunnel. <laughs> Truthfully, um, this isn't really a guess. But, like, obviously, Jake, especially, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> it's not a guess, but it's a guess. Yeah. Like, um, this, yeah. So, I don't know. What do you have to say about the tunnel, I guess, right now? I'm I'm flustered say still. which tunnel? This one. The good one. This is a nice-looking tunnel. I guess we didn't touch on the last tunnel. No, so we didn't. I thought we had a tab. Yeah, okay, so it. we did. Okay, so the reason number one why you should be looking at this tunnel now, why we should be looking at this tunnel now, is the original concept would have had a lot more action going on in the maintenance tunnel area. So for example, there's a generator um, over there, right? A generator, there's old scenery, um, the old props from uh, Orbiter. Uh, hang one sec. <laughs> Everybody wants Jake to talk. <laughs> wait, wait, what? They're all trying to get me Everybody to say something. Everybody wants Jake to say it. <laughs> say what? Anything, because he's going to reveal something. Oh. <laughs> he just um, Jake can you tell him why I can't talk? Because Jake revealed some really important information last week. Was it last week? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, Jake revealed some of my <laughs> biggest information that someone worked really hard on in our Discord server to find for me. Um, and Jake just blurted it out in the Hangout stream that I had to delete. Um, so 56 of you got to see that information. It's on Patreon now. <laughs> it is on Patreon now. Links in the description. Um, Shameless promotion. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so now I'm telling Jake... And Jake doesn't know everything anymore. We, yeah, they stopped telling me. We yeah, stopped because we can't tell you things. Well, you <laughs> what do you mean we stopped? <laughs> we didn't even tell Jake about this hole for like a whole day. Like I had to watch the construction update. <laughs> wow, you watch those? <laughs> You're the one who flies the drone. <laughs> he doesn't do a very good job at it. Like, okay. I, I, I'm on YouTube. I, I see a construction update. I, I, I watch the construction update. I'm like, oh my God, there's a new tunnel. Why don't I know about this? <laughs> um. Okay. So let's get back into it. Grab duct tape, Brennan. It's so funny. We were going to start the podcast with him with duct tape on his mouth, but then we but thought YouTube, YouTube would, would like, flag that. yeah, would flag it. 
Um, so what was it going? Oh, I was going on. We have seen zero action over in that area, except for Extreme Skyflyer. Um, I can confirm that Wonderland is going to explain more in detail in about a week or two why Extreme Skyflyer was removed. Um, that's, or at least that's our impression. That there'll be more information in a really cool video that's going to come out in about a week or two from Wonderland. So that'll be really cool. Um, and they're going to touch on everything, like VIP areas and all that, and the front gate. So that'll be cool. Oh, what? That's it. That's all the video's going to cover. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm being told to shut up. Um Okay, people are saying it's your turn to speak. I got to nothing. You can't. I don't even remember yesterday. Trust me, I don't remember anything. Craig Brennan flies the drone. Craig, <laughs> Craig is really does. trustworthy. Craig has known some of Amusement Insider's biggest secrets, and it's never left. And my it's mouth. never mouth. Left. It's never, never left his mouth. Um, Not once, Jake. But with that being said, we've seen zero action over there. Now, what I want you guys to understand is, if you've watched my videos, Tundra Twister, Yukon Striker. So let's go back to Yukon Striker. I'll ask Craig this question. Craig, what was located at Yukon Striker's construction near the station? <clears throat> there was an office on a trailer. A site yeah. office. Yes, okay. an office on a trailer. I was going to say site office. Okay, Jake wants to, to participate. So, Jake, what was located at Tundra Twister? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't watch the construction <laughs> updates. You said you were my biggest fan back then. <laughs> yeah, back then, not, not, not last year. <laughs> he took a year gap. Uh, two years. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. You're a coaster fan. Do you, <laughs> you know what was there? Yeah, I know what was there. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it was the same construction yeah. trailer. See, look how this is accurate right here. <laughs> <laughs> Craig was probably too scared to leak anything. Yeah, I did kind of scare Craig back then. <laughs> now I'm just smart. <laughs> Um, Craig will sometimes look at Jake and be like, Ooh, you're in so Anytime much trouble. Anytime there's like, um, like a new ride or anything. We that trailer, trailer will pop up. And I've told you guys this constantly. Wherever that trailer pops up, pay attention. Pay attention. Especially if it's being set up. So in tomorrow's update, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you want to see T, listen to Brendan in line for a ride. I heard some real T in line for Levi a lot. You have a habit of just hearing information and then screaming it. I get really excited. Up of the lungs screaming it. I get really excited. He starts bouncing in his seat. I do, I bounce. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But when we're out in public, everybody in public knows that you found Okay, everyone tell me to focus. Everyone tell me to focus. We're losing control. Uh, okay, so the construction trailer did not pop up at that tunnel, guys. It didn't go. It didn't move. It stayed parked. It was not there, Okay. They are just doing maintenance on a maintenance tunnel. That tunnel will serve as a maintenance tunnel when it reopens. And nothing in that area will be affected. What will happen is there will be a coaster coming out of this hole. Um, and it's going to head somewhere, in my opinion. Is it? Is it this one? Yes, it's this one, right? Yep. You have two options, in my opinion. Oh. Okay, that doesn't mean there's only two options. But how could we not think of this? Truthfully. Because we didn't see the hole in the mountain. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but there is a lot of room for a coaster. A lot of green area. Green Hard grass. to get to. Did we specify how wide that tunnel was? Uh, it was estimated it's to be like six and a half between six. like six point one and six point five meters. Yeah, we... six point one and six point five meters. But that is not accurate. So take that like yeah. as an estimate because we use the width of the truck, like bro, and, yeah, the, we... and then it could be something with the angle of the drone. Yeah, that sort of thing. So it's not a hundred percent. So I want to I want to discuss something. So the red path, okay, the red path. There has been some action in the entrance to the tunnel, where you see that final red arrow. So nothing of significance yet, but definitely something that we want to keep an eye on. If there's another hole that forms, then that's where the coaster can go in, right? There has to be a point of exit and a point of entrance. Unless the coaster is starting somewhere in the orange plot of land and just heads into the mountain and loops back over. That's a possibility too. Um, but if it starts in the mountain, it's going to need to come back into the mountain. <laughs> 
Um, so the red path is something. It could also do an orange and then come back in on another hole, but I feel like they would have cut that out right now. Yeah, another thing is um, if they're only going to have one entrance and exit of the mountain, it's highly likely they could have like a spike because then they would only want to have one entrance and exit instead of making it a full loop. Exactly. Because a full loop is more expensive than a hole in the top of the mountain and a hole in the front. If they have two holes in the front and then one in the top, now we have more problems. Yeah. Not that that's a problem. It's just more expensive. Now, if all is wrong and the coaster is still using that maintenance tunnel, the blue line, then it would obviously head towards Extreme Skyflyer. So this is a bombshell. Okay. This is a bombshell. Um, truthfully, this hit us like a ton of bricks. What about Bec this other uh, the red line that you uh... hashtag 2025? Is that where you put it? Where is that? I don't want to say it just in case, but this. Oh, Maple Park. No, I'm going to keep that to me right now. Even though you just... You said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> he... he. I hovered around <laughs> on the mouse. Um, okay, I wish I say it. I'll say it then. It's it's too late. Um, so at the beginning of the season, which doesn't align with this theory, though, We're is... Really white on the camera. There oh, yeah, there we go. It was Craig. Um, Maple Park and Flying Eagles uh, had a lot of survey markings on it. And if you look at the tunnel exit and entrance that's being built. That's that red arrow. That red arrow that's exiting the mountain. It aligns perfectly straight with where those survey markings would have been. So uh, those weren't AI generated images, by the way. We found the artist. So I can confirm that someone did put a lot of hard work into that. And that was a plan. Um, and it's the same dude that designed um, King's Island's expansion, the same dude that designed um, Top, Top Thrill 2. So, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can look at it. Let's go back. But especially later on in the day, I think this is an image from this morning. Um, it, it, they di they're digging down. They're digging down. Very so hard yeah, to see. it's dark. It's not. The th There's a tunnel wall, um, essentially. So, yeah, um, there's a t there's a it's not a tunnel wall. There's a wall there, a cement wall. Um, and yeah, you, you can even see it. That truck is kind of on. Yeah, the truck downwards. is just in front yeah. of it. And later on in the day, they were actually cutting open that cement wall. Um, yeah, so, and, and they're digging down, like, they're not digging straight, they're digging down. That transition was sick. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, I also, you're gonna learn something tomorrow that supports this whole theory that the coaster is gonna be on this side of the mountain, to be honest. One, you have the construction trailer, the construction site trailer, and then tomorrow you guys are gonna learn about a completely, um, new thing. I told you guys to remember the dumpster. Um, yeah. I think it's really obvious that the coat. What? I don't remember the dumpster. You flew the drone. You filmed it. <laughs> what dumpster? I think we need to drop you off at a doctor after this. We do. Weren't you already at a doctor this week? Yeah, and they broke me more. <laughs> <sighs> so... Things are getting interesting, and Elpin is going to get a lot of money, for sure. And the thing is, with having an attraction on that side of the park, it helps balance outside the park, because we have Yukon and Behemoth on one side, and then hopefully the station will be on this side. On the other side. At next, well, not next to you, but yeah. it's same distance from Yukon to Behemoth as <clears throat> you, uh, Leviathan and this new ride. Hopefully. Um, Spread out the, the weight. Oh yeah, I, I'm not in favor of the red line. I'm, I don't think. The red I line think it happen. would be really cool. It it goes by. Look at all the swing radius of Shockwave. Um, too many things. Yeah, there's way too many things in that way. This was the red line is Jake's idea. So if it ends up being right, kudos to Jake. But that's a lot of work. There was a lot of survey markings. There was, but Elpin's also getting an upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Um. But it's snow all over again. <laughs> Is he upset? Did I break Jake? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I just need water. <laughs> um, you prefer blue. I know a lot of people probably do prefer blue, but 
I, I, I believe this is just a I maintenance. Like orange. Thing. What do you mean you prefer blue? Orange, orange is, is awesome. Think about it. All the rides in that area are low to the ground attractions, That's antique awesome. cars. I like orange. Yeah. I'm team orange. Now the only question is, it'd be really hard to get over there. But guys. You have to remember, the prayer building had survey markings on it. The fly, all over it. All over all over it. it. The fly had survey markings all over it. Okay? No one looked for construction markings or survey markings in the antique cars in the train ride. So for all we know, there could have been signs all along that we were ignoring because we were so focused on a survey that Wonderland put out and we were focused over here. Mm. They threw you off your set. Yeah, they, they really said. did. So the construction office is set up right next to the fly, and it usually gets set up right where it needs to be set up. You gotta remember, yeah, it's close to the the station mm -hmm. of the ride. They're not gonna walk fifteen hundred kilometers between yeah. the site office and the site every time they need to go there. That's something they need to access pretty often. There's plans. There's blueprints. I'm sure the guys' lunches are in there too. Everything's in the there. fridge. The, like, the fridge. The lunch literally. fridge. Literally. If it's orange, it would be like more of like an out and back design, like. And it would be higher off the yeah. ground because there's um, other. Rides but again, this area. is all speculation. Like everything we say. Yeah. Can you imagine it's the mock spinner. We get the mock spinner after oh, all. Oh, let's go to the next best topic. Oh, he wants this. One. How do you forget? This? Pass the mic to the Leviathan boy. Guys, look! It's so beautiful. Okay, so there's front gate upgrades going on. As you can see, you can't see, but there are. Mm -hmm. um, they're adding, what, what can I see? It's really hard to see the weld joints because I'm on the I'm on the splash work okay. side of the field. So like underneath Leviathan, uh, as of last year, when you come in from the park on the major max side, if you walk under, there's like a little a net that kind of reaches out three or four feet either side. They're putting this on most of the hammerhead, uh, as, from what I, as you can see on the screen now. Um, this is to pr pr protect from loose articles and things falling off the ride and hitting people in the front gate area. I thought, honestly, it was going to be like the big net, like um, the Yukon one underneath yeah. that helix. I thought it was going to be yeah. something really big like that. That would have been easier for them to do. Yeah, they need but like then, four points. I don't know. Whatever. I feel like that would be uglier. This is going to look pretty. It's going to look a lot better than one big massive net. Yeah. It looks really cool from afar, I'll tell you guys. It it, it almost gives the track character. Yeah. It Texture. Yeah. We should have taken a picture of it from my driveway. Yeah, that's true. We should have. But yeah, I'm well, excited. Now that the most boring topic's done. Oh. oh, do you have anything to say? Yeah, this ride sucks. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at the color. Is it, I saw it, is it blue? My, is I it saw green? it from my driveway and I was like, are they making it worse? And then I found out they were. <laughs> also, can we talk about this real quick? I mean, I, I can because Jake can. They added, this picture is kind of garbage, but you can see it when you're standing at my house. They added the things for the nets where the ride does this. On the top of the curb. Yeah, which is weird. What is a net going to do when you're like this? Guess what? It's going to fall on the ground anyway. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, the netting design at so the top. I think it's pointless regardless. I don't know what they were thinking. You have anything else to say about Levi? It's beautiful. Do you miss it? He's not getting the mic back Aww. until yeah. Leviathan is off the screen. I'm so excited for May 3rd, <laughs> Leviathan. <laughs> You're going to... Oh yeah, anyways. Stop giving uh, this guy access to things. <laughs> <laughs> um, shall we do screen capture? Oh, it worked. Okay. Not messed up. <clears throat> okay. So let's do... Is that a line? Oh, perfect. That's... If you click... You got to click it. Okay. Yeah, and then you gotta like click and drag to make the line. Okay. So. Yeah, no, it was Maple Tree Park. So. Dead set straight out. I'm gonna draw a couple of designs for you guys. So let's say that they were gonna go with um, a Top Thrill 2 clone. This is kind of like the path, the trajectory that it would head. So just to put that in your head. That's not me saying that that's going to happen. This is one of the concepts that could be chosen if they're to go with Zamperla. Um, the other one is 100% kind of 
kind of like this green area. That's yellow. Uh, like the green area. Sorry, the forest. Oh. I'm team yellow. That I like the most, too, to be honest. Like a team nice yellow. little Velocicoaster. <laughs> a big Velocicoaster. Yellow. The old original theory would be, where is the mountain? Okay. <laughs> is something like this. So I'm not like that, but like, you know, if you really want to get technical. What are you up to? Well, there's three pieces of track going over the mountain now. What is that? <laughs> that looks like a 3D tissue. It kind of does. Oh my god, it does look like a 3D tissue. <laughs> that's not what I was going to say, but yeah, that's what it is. So, looks like. guys, I know black makes the most sense, but I think that's because I've ingrained that in your head. Like, I think you've been, <laughs> I think you've been, like, trained, like, essentially to like this idea the most. But I, I, I think I explained it really well. So, okay, let's, let's get rid of the blood I just drew for a sec. I'm going to, I'm going to circle in red why I think they won't go forward with this. So right here has not been removed from the construction site Isn't yet. New, relatively? It's relatively new too. It's a giant diesel generator to help power the mountain if there was a power failure. We've seen no signs of this coming out either, International Showplace. From what we understand, no, nothing is happening with Backlot either. In fact, it will 50% chance that this or this is going to be a VIP area. And I'm I'm leaning towards this will be because this is a Winterfest bar slash Halloween haunt store. So so you put the one that you think with an X and the one you don't think with a check mark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just get rid of that. Um, reason number two, or whatever, five, eight, <laughs> is the coaster traveling in the behind the scenes area is really they, ugly. They they also set up all their ice ring stuff there for Winterfest. That's another really good point. And Winterfest would would good point, Jake. Wait, 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 give me the mic. They have an underground pipe that goes from there, from back there, in towards the middle. Yeah, yeah on right that here. green line right there. For all the Winterfest stuff and that they installed in twenty nineteen. So if they didn't know they're gonna build this coaster in twenty twenty five from twenty nineteen, they did something wrong. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh my goodness. I just thought of that on right? the spot. I feel so smart. Um but I get it. I get it. We fell we fell for the same tactics. Uh, sorry, same information, the survey. Um I had, I I have decent information that there are supports already installed in the mountain and there were forms in the mountain at the beginning of Halloween Haunt which would back up that information. Um but and then Extreme Sky Flyer circled in green. Let's get rid of some of this whack. Oh. Nice. But Extreme Sky Flyer was announced to be removed last minute. Um, and the park is going to talk about that in about a week or two. So with the tunnel work going on and Extreme Sky Flyer being removed, it all made sense. <clears throat> but I'm telling you from a very reliable person. What, that being you? <laughs> <laughs> that the tunnel is not being demolished or taken out. It's being refurbished. Um, and it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's been there for like yeah. 45 years now. For real. And but the average yeah. lifespan of a tunnel, JD did some research. 80, 120 is years. 120 years. Yeah, but so. you're probably talking of when he, when that, re, like, I think that means like, came up, that's probably like tunnels in Europe. Yeah, that are modern going new tunnels. And crazy that's things, also yeah. what I'm thinking, yeah. Um, like this was built in the 70s, right? You want my honest opinion about I, – I'll give an honest opinion about what I think happened. I think that they were going to originally go with a wing coaster, a launched wing. But then you have King's Dominion who was going to get a launched wing as well. And usually in the same year, that would be extremely weird for them to build two launched wings. But I don't think that was the reason. Um, I think that one of the other reasons was – an Immelman coming out of that mountain and then heading over Vortex and then heading over um, Guardian and then the rendering showed it almost heading back and then back again. It's just a lot of stress on that mountain. Like if you look at it, the support columns going into that mountain on those elements over the mountain 
would be a lot of hard work. Now, I think that when they presented that concept, you know, someone probably whipped up a design and it was just too much work. It was too much. It was too costly. It, it was just a pain in the butt is the best way to describe it. So I think they approached a different concept. They were like, okay, a wing coaster going into the mountain and then coming out of the mountain, too much. So I'm not ruling out a wing, by the way. But let's say we put the station in the mountain and then we launched it out of the mountain into a path and then it would come back. Would that work? I, 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 oh, it'd be so nice, an air-conditioned line. And yeah. Then, oh. Uh, and the launch should be covered the, the in case they wanted to run it in Winterfest. Air yes. But like you're talking like Guardians air conditions. Well, rain conditioned. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Let's think back. I should have had it ready. I should have had the picture. The footing, the foot the footing caps in the Mountain Jern Haunt. Do you remember the varying different shapes? No. Oh, I thought they were They all had circles. big coaster ones, but then they had some smaller ones. For example, um station pieces transfer tracks pieces like out like you know there were there were smaller ones that you would typically use for like other parts of the ride so i feel like there's been a lot of things we've overlooked um through this whole construction project all because of that survey so yeah i think and you know what? Again, I could I could be wrong, but I think Amusement Insiders is ready to move away from the maintenance tunnel as being the most likely area of launch, and we're gonna switch over to the orange based off of information we received yeah. to the today. Not orange, but orange and yellow. But I mean, not that being said, they're still gonna keep an eye on it when flying the drone, obviously, because yeah. it's an ongoing construction project. Mm -hmm. As we do cover everything in the park. But yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns in the chat? <laughs> That's this time. It's not. It's not that. No, that is the time for your questions, comments, and concerns. Oh, fun thing. Oh. <laughs> when we fly the drone, we post Patreon photos <laughs> at around four o'clock or five o'clock of the day of the flying the drone, and then the next day, the the YouTube video goes out. If you want to see these Patreon photos, link is in the description down below. Join Patreon. If there's tea, though, I'll post the video earlier. And I have a feeling we're in that era where there's about to be a lot of tea. Yukon era. Yeah, we're, we're entering that Yukon area where we start uncovering things. Maybe one day a piece of wind, a piece of wind. Wind will blow tarp off a piece of track and, you know, AI 2.0 has started. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about Thunder Run? So tomorrow's construction update is going to cover another aspect about why we think... The, another reason as to why the coaster is most likely in the orange or yellow area. So you'll see that tomorrow. I feel like, so we're not doing a Hangout stream today, guys, by the way, due to the delay um, of starting this. Um, but... Jeez, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> It's not my birthday. Is it possible the coaster will be multi-launch? Yeah, no. absolutely. Um, it depends on the manufacturer. We, we I don't think we've seen BNM do a multi-launch. We've seen them do a multi-pass launch, but not a multi-launch. Yeah. So. Wait, no. Surf Coaster has two launches. That has one. No, it has like a little booster. It has a trim break. Doesn't that boost the ride? Wait, guys, a am trim. I wrong? <laughs> the pipeline has one launch. <laughs> Um, yeah, it has a multi-pass launch from the one be it wing in Europe, but yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. One launch, one launch. JD says one. He's really Okay. It. Okay. Okay. One launch. I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, but yeah, you guys ask questions and now's your time to ask questions because we're not doing a hangout. Why? Why what? Why not? You don't want to do a, you want to do a hangout? Why aren't we doing a hangout? Because we started late. We started late. So yeah, so any questions, comments, concerns? Mexico. We are? <laughs> so? <laughs> okay, we can do a hangout if you want. You want to end this and then do a hangout? I'm down. I'm telling you. All right. We don't have to not do a hangout. We're not doing it today. Has the, guy, we don't know anything about the color. 
<laughs> I want purple and black. All I'm gonna say is, based off of what we just learned today, we just presented you guys with some of the biggest tea ever. So I would take this with a grain of salt, but just trust. Just trust that this salt might be true. <laughs> Watch, this could be a third tunnel. Wonderland's just going around the mountain now, carving like holes in the mountain. What sucks is how much time we've spent filming the wrong tunnel. Yeah, that, that, sucks. that sucks. I want to use that sound on TikTok now. All that time and all. What was it for? Like that one? <laughs> Orange and black. Uh, was... The hangout will be It'll same. Be so when this podcast live. episode ends, guys, wait like five, ten minutes, and then check again for another live stream if you don't get the notification. Um, there's not going to be a game today, but ask us questions. We're yeah. just going to shoot the shoot. I saw how you say that. Now let's see how the copycat channels change their opinions. <laughs> for real. Let's see. I am so all happy. All so roller coaster enough. enthusiasts change your opinions now. Um, Everyone. I'm so excited to hear these new... But here, why don't I touch on something while you, while we still have like 200 and something of you guys in here. I was going to eat my chipotle. As a speculation channel, by the way, which is what I am, a speculation channel. And rumors I cover and speculation. Rumors and speculation and coaster construction. Um, some of you, you have to understand that when I'm covering a project, especially a project so early, um, I didn't have Yukon Striker blueprints until halfway through 2018 before it opened. So about halfway through the 2024 season, I'm reporting on a coaster probably earlier than I've reported on one in a really long time. Ever, baby. I mean, well, ever Yukon. Because, because you're, you've only been two coasters. Yeah, but you, yeah. we found the video when you found the track. This is before when you found the track. You found the track is in it? January you found, sometime. Yeah. Hey, we're in February, dude. Bro, you started covering this like two months now. What are you talking about? Yeah. Dude. No, but I found it in... 2017, didn't I? No. You found it in December 2017. The tunnel construction was all in January, February. It was done in March. The tunnel was done in March. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, but what I want to say is when I'm covering a project so early with not a track piece on site or under a tarp or a tunnel built with a track piece sticking out, um, it's hard. It really is. Like uh, predicting things is hard, especially when there's like a red herring, even though it's not a red herring. Um, like the survey that shows a specific coaster model um it's made it really difficult so yeah definitely for, like, for example the the survey that came out it looks like a flying coaster yeah but well, yeah it's yeah especially that one element where yeah it turns. It, it, like yeah. it does like a sky turn but and then there's the other one that's a wing coaster and then there's another one that's the gci um so that's a great question Chez, i hope i pronounced your name right um asked why did they remove wonder mountain's guardian well actually that piece of wonder mountain's guardian is directly right near above where they're digging that tunnel. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Which makes a lot of sense, yeah. Um, so, I, again, just understand that when I'm talking about this project right now, um, to take things as rumors and speculation, and things can change. Until I get more concrete information um, as I learn things, and um, obviously through the rumor mill and birdie mill, um, just just work with me we're gonna we're gonna figure this thing out um and you guys are along for the the process so again like today was the biggest tea drop i've experienced through yukon um ever. tundra ever this was the biggest tea drop ever. so i'm telling you just just look at alpine okay just look at alpine just trust Circle that it so people know what it is so alpine sorry i keep saying alpine Oh, that's not it. Oh. Look at this area right here as your sign to 2025. That looks like SOS. It is SOS. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> um, Anything about fixing Thunder Run's effects? Yes, I have heard that. I have heard that is happening this off season. But um, yeah. Wait, bro, used process instead of ride. Literally talking about rides. Wait, what? Guys, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Like the stream if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Yeah. Um. 
Oh my God, it's getting political in the chat. Um, okay, so give us five minutes. The Hangout stream. Oh yeah, along for the process instead of the ride. That's me. Would I not prefer to cover a coaster construction project than well, ride? You it? also want something to dethrone Leviathan. I do. I really want something to dethrone <laughs> Leviathan so bad. As much as you think Yukon Striker is great, Leviathan is better. This podcast will be left up. Don't worry. No one spilled any tea. Yet. What are you looking at me for? I'm looking at, I'm looking at everyone. <laughs> this, is this direction. <laughs> <laughs> but stay tuned because Wonderland will be spilling tea in about a week or two. Yeah, speaking of spilling tea. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, give us five, ten minutes. Check YouTube. Join us for the Hangout stream because eat my yeah, Chipotle. he's going to be eating. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, I have to exit this.